Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to do our first major project in C++. I know earlier on in the series, we did something to do with the calculator, but in this tutorial, we're just going to take it to a more advanced level. So we're going to be using if, else, else, if, and else statements in C++. So this is what we looked at in the last two previous tutorials. So if you didn't watch those two, two, two uh, tutorials, the previous two tutorials, you can, you can just go back and check that before watching this because uh, we did uh, if statement, else if, and then else statement. So I'm just going to take that knowledge and to see how we can apply it in creating a much more advanced calculator that we, than we previously did. So this is just to give more, uh, make our program more dynamic. In the previous, the, the last tutorial we created a calculator, we were able to only to do one operation. So we just want to do multiple operations depending on what the operation the user wants to do. So to do this, we're going to use a conditional statement to check what the user wants to do, and depending on that, to specify uh, select the right operation so let's get started so i've opened up my atom here so i have just included the iOS stream then declare the namespace and then the entry point to our program so this is the procedure that you're going to use procedure or the set of algorithms that you're going to uh, what our algorithm is going to do so algorithm is just a set of procedures that is used to solve a problem so when you're solving a programming problem the best thing to do is to break your problem into sub uh, problems so smaller issues that you and then you solve those small issues and at the end of the day you have solved your problem that you started with earlier so in the first part you're going to do just taking it the user uh, output the options to the user so i have simply done a c out here uh, by now you're supposed to be familiar with c out if you're not going to check the tutorial on the uh, input and output in c plus uh, one of the beginning videos in this series so you can just go back and refer to that so uh i hope you're okay with that so if you're okay with that so let's just go so i'll just save this and then i'll compile and run the application so just bring my team over here so make this huge uh, so that you guys can see so you can see this is not the desired output you want right so let's make some, uh, add some formatting to get this right so by looking at the code you might think we can just use inline and it should also work fine but uh, let's use uh, the escape character for slash n so this is just an escape sequence uh, we haven't looked at that yet but uh, this for slash n simply means uh, uh add a new line so we'll simply add this to every string where we want a new line okay so i just add this a couple of more couple more times so now that you're done i'll just save this and then we can run this to see uh, if we have the desired formatting that we want so i'll just bring my terminal and make this huge so you guys can see so yeah this is what we have right now so uh, this is what we want our program to uh, the output to look like okay so now that is done now let's continue so let's move on to the second part which is just taking the user input depending on uh so the user will be able to input one two three or four depending on if he wants to add subtract multiplication or divide so let's get that so i'll create a variable here uh call it integer so call it int opera operation operations let's just call it operation instead so don't use operator if you use operator it won't work okay so just use operations and that should work uh, use you can use any other word but not the main key uh, words in c++ well, don't use operator you can use operation okay that is fine so just see out and then we'll tell the user uh, input operation Okay, so it just told the user to input which operations he wants to do. So we're going to store that uh, input, uh, whatever he types in, we're going to, sorry, we're going to store it in uh, the variable that we just created, operations, okay. Now uh, that is done, so let's run our code. So uh, what I'll advise you, whenever you're solving a programming problem, whenever you finish each stage, try to run your code. This is uh, make it easier for debugging in case you run into errors, you can know from which point the error began so that you can toggle that exact point don't trot your whole application up and then uh, try to test it again so declared in this scope uh it's called operation not operations so that's my bad sorry this is operations so i'll just uh, run this again close this up so yeah we have this over here so I'll just make this uh huge so that you guys can see yeah so this is what we want. So the user can input maybe you want to operate four, we want to divide, two, three, you want to multiply, two, you want to subtract, and one he wants to perform addition. So now that he is able to select the options, so we'll select the options, and then now we need to 
uh, depending on the options, we need to uh, do different operations. So to do this, we'll start using an if statement. So if we'll say operation, this is in parentheses, uh, or operation, if operation equals, equals to one, right? So we want to do something. We're going to add the two numbers. So it is going to see out, we're going to see out the sum of those two numbers. So we're just going to see out uh, we're just going to say ANS. Uh, this is just say sum, and then the sum will be. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to add two numbers, right? Num one and uh, plus num two, and then we want to end that line. Okay. So now we can see we not declare num one and num two. So let's go ahead and actually declare what those are. So uh, we're going to use doubles because the user might also want to add decimal places so double uh, num one and then double uh, num two okay so the reason why we're using double because we want the user to be able to do um uh integer i mean decimal addition whatever operations with decimals if we use integers what will just happen is that the the the, uh, the value gets truncated and the decimal places will be lost so we don't want that to happen so that's why we are using um you're trying to use double okay so you can also use float but float has a less precision precision compared to double since it's a calculator you want a lot of precision so we'll actually want to use a double so now that you're done we can just uh, add num1 plus num2 so let's go ahead and actually allow the user to type in those numbers so we just say output number let's call it first number so first number was the user for the first number and he will be able to type in and you're going to save it in num1 and then you're going to repeat this uh, process for the second number so this is second number uh second number you're just going to see in you're going to store it in num2 so uh, now that is done let's go ahead and actually try to run our code and just select the first option i hope everything is uh, we didn't get any syntax errors so uh, our program has compiled successfully so just make this bigger so bring this in here so we want to add one and then the first number four the second number three so we get four plus three the answer is seven right so the sum is seven so that part is working so let's go ahead and actually uh, write the other statement so you can just copy and paste this and change the value if it's two and then change changes to multiplication and so on but to we'll use if and else statement so this say else if operation is is equals equals to this is how to check to compare values right so to compare values so if you don't know operators you can just go back in my c plus plus and check uh, these operators okay so if it is else if i is two we want to do something else we want to see out and then we want to say uh this is what so let's just call all of this answer right so let's do keep things simple answer so just copy this and i'll paste it here also so answer and then we'll do num one minus num two and then we want to end that line okay so we'll go ahead and actually repeat this for all the other statements so i'll just uh, do this let's just go uh, do it manually it is you can just copy and paste but uh, let's do it type it in so that uh, you guys can get used to this so typing it it, uh, it also consolidates your memory and what you are doing instead of just uh, copy and pasting so this is answer and then we want to the third operation is a uh, multiplication so we want to do num num1 multiplied by num2 and then end that line so we'll do the other else if operation is equals to four we want to do we want to do c out uh, this is also this is answer answer and then we want to do a c out of num one divided by num two right if that is uh, 
and then we want to end that line operation four we are dividing exactly so we're just taking the first number divided by the second number and you're simply going to output the result okay so now our program is done so let's run this and then uh, see what happens so it's yeah so i'll bring this here and then make this bigger so that you guys can see so i want to this time to do subtraction so I'll input two and then i'll say 30 and then so the answer is 20 yeah so our calculator is working pretty fine so let's run this a couple of times to test the the other uh, operations so bring this here and then make it huge so i'll go to operation three which is just uh multiplication so to uh, 20 and then that is 200 right so you can go ahead and actually test the other operation and everything should work fine uh, let's just go ahead and actually test it together so bring this here and make this huge okay so yeah so we want to do uh, revision and then 20 divided by 2 the answer is 10 so everything is working as we expected it to so we are done with that but there is a problem what if a person by mistakenly typed in a value that we weren't expecting then our program will just hang and end execution right so let's just let me just do a cout uh, let me just show that end end of program or well, we just do something fancy we just say thank thanks for using my calculator okay so that's why we want to output on the screen whenever we we are done doing the calculations to sh to mark the end of our program so i'll just run this and then i'll simply bring up my my terminal down this way and make that huge so what if a person typed in six so we type in the first number type in the second number and then it just said things for using my calculator that's weird we're supposed to tell the user hey six there's no operation with the, with the value of six with the index of six so that's what we're supposed to do so that we can do that to do that we can capture that in an else statement so if you didn't watch my videos on if and else you can just go back and watch that video and you see why uh, we are putting it in the else statement there is no such operation please try again okay so there's something like that so there is no such operation please try again and then also want to say thanks for using our calculator to mark the end of our program or well, we can just leave that here because it even yeah it will come back here to this line so we don't need to put it in this block so this block will be executed when all of these other blocks if else if fail then this block will be executed and then we'll come back and execute this as usual so the, yeah that's all we want our project our program to do uh, but one thing you can see is that let's uh, make some few modifications to this you can see that we're using c out and then uh answer we are repeating this everywhere now this is very very bogus so one thing we can do is we can uh, we can uh, we can do something instead of just doing this so instead of repeating this we can do it all in one line and we store these values in uh, another variable so we'll just create another double here double we'll call it sum now we'll just call it answer okay so we'll copy that and we'll simply say answer control v fix that indentation answer is simply equals to this plus this and we'll remove that line out so yeah so that's all we want to do and then later we'll be able to output that uh, thing out so just paste this so this is a subtraction and then this is multiplication so we want to multiply these two numbers and then this is division so we want to do division so yeah and then later we are simply thanks for using our calculator so we are simply going to output the answer here so c out uh, so just say answer answer is answer we just keep it simple answer and then we'll do uh, answer which answer okay and then we'll end that line 
so save that and uh, let's run our program again hopefully i didn't make any errors there is no such operation please try again so uh, let's see where the error is okay so just in line and close that with a semicolon so uh, hopefully every error is fixed and our program managed to compile successfully so let's make this huge so yeah let's type in any number that operation that isn't there as the first number the second number and then uh, there is no such operation and you still it's still outputted uh, answer okay so answer is still, still outputted answer so we, do, we don't want to output answer if uh, there's no if we get this error we don't want to output answer so let's uh, do that uh, operation so um Whenever we get an answer, we can create a variable which is this a boolean variable. Okay, so we can create a boolean variable. Whenever we get answer, we can set that variable to uh, true, and then later we'll be able to output that uh, on the screen instead of just outputting that uh, random number. So to do this, we can just check. So we move up here, and we have been discussed. Uh, we have discussed boolean rather. So uh, bool, uh, bool. Uh, let's call it. Uh, uh yes uh a and s yes for answer so if you get an answer we'll just say uh, i'll just copy this to save time i'll just move down here if answer we just paste this here equals to true so by default answer should be false so false false okay so by default answer is false whenever we get an answer we'll set it to true so I'll copy this and paste it uh, down here. Control V, and just repeat that. Control V, and uh, Control V. So whenever we get an answer, we'll set yes answer equals to true. So down here we'll just check if uh, yes answer a and s. If this so if there is an answer, then we want to output the the answer. So copy this and I'll paste it here. Yeah. So we are done so if there is an answer whenever we get an answer we are setting yes answer to true it means that whenever we reach here the, the answer yes answer will be true so the statement will be executed here but if we didn't get answer if we didn't get any answer we didn't do perform this then the, the, this will by default to remain false so whenever we move down here it will be false so this block won't be executed so you just move down here and say thanks for using thanks for using my calculator so hopefully i didn't make any typos or any mistakes like that so we just compile and run yeah so we compile successfully now let's test the logic so let's type in, type in six so type in three and then type in this you see there is no such operation please try again thanks for using my calculator it didn't display the answer part but whenever we get uh, an actual answer it should display the answer part so make this huge uh, and then we want to do what div division so we say 30 divided by 5 the answer is 6 and thanks for using my calculator okay so that we can uh, input some dynamic uh, ability to our program to do different uh, operations depending on uh, the user input okay so thanks for watching guys uh, one uh, one bug about this application is that uh, if they if the user inputs the wrong um the wrong choice right they, they the user inputs the wrong choice there is no point in asking the user for this number so i'll leave that for you guys to fix it because if there's no operation why do you ask him for the first and second number and then simply later just tell him hey there is no such operation so we could just fix that bug i'll leave that to you we won't, we won't go over this in, in this tutorial but if you have any questions regarding how to do that you can leave it in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you so this is just a simple way we can work with our calculator so in the next tutorial we'll go over um switch statements in c plus plus this is just uh, uh another way no first we'll go over ternary operations and then later we'll look at switch statements so guys thanks for watching please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it helps me a lot it encourages me to keep making these videos so the one way you can support my channel is simply liking this video and subscribing to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial where i'll be going over uh, ternary operators or uh, shorthand else statements in c++ thanks for watching